contrast, very easily overdoing it and getting that solarizing in there, but done selectively, especially done selectively, you can get some nice results. Let's go with that one, bring the strength up a little bit. There we go, it's like this, the foreground underneath those leaves is totally overdone, so I would really wanna go in there and brush that out. But the top part where the leaves are could be kinda of cool. So again, it's really, really, really important to remember that you do have that masking functionality in here, and a lot of these tools are just gonna look a lot better. A lot of these effects will look a lot better if you, um, if you brush some of it out. <clears throat> All right, grunge is next. We need a good grunge filter. Now where are we on time? Cool. We're gonna do this grunge one. We'll do two more. Grunge and then grainy film, and then we'll save the rest for the next time. All right. Let's go back to these pictures. Let's uh we'll go for we're gonna go for that San Francisco picture again. Opening, opening, opening. <clears throat> And there she is. All right. Check mark out of the raw decode. Add a little grunge. This one, oh yeah, yeah. This is fun. Because here you get to add textures, do texture overlays, and do some really funky stuff to it. Now, it's also important to know, and this is an easy one to re not realize at first. So I just tapped on number two. This is the two preset. And look at what this looks like. Now I'm going to tap two again, and it's totally different. So it is cycling through, randomizing to some degree, uh, the effect that's being applied on there. So you've got these different ones that you can choose through. Even though there's only, it looks like there's only five presets, that's more like five styles and there's presets inside of that, textures inside of that, I should say. So let's say that I dig this one. Okay, but I'll texture things a little bit strong. We'll run the finger up and down, style, brightness, contrast, saturation, and here's the key, texture strength. So I can take that all the way down or bring it up just a little bit and add a little bit of that texture in there. Go back into the texture to add some of this texture. I like that one better and bring that up or down a little bit. And then you've got your style, brightness, contrast, saturation, texture, strength. Well, under, it, oops, under, let's see here. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Um, under style here, as you're rotating through, it's not a intensity. It is, as you can see, this goes from zero up to, which is go all the way up to 1500, 1499. These are all variations. It's kind of like color gradients, I think, that you're cycling through. And so you're going to find very dramatically different effects as you cycle through here. And how that applies to any particular image is going to change depending on the image. So you really do have this very organic um, thing that you can't really just rely on presets. You really just got to play with it for every image and see what works. So let's bring some of the brightness down. Maybe the contrast is a little bit too high on here. Um, saturation I want to bring up or down and so on. Now one of the most fun things to play with in here is the shuffle button. Down in the bottom left, well bottom center left, shuffle, tap that and it just cycles through. And here's the thing, if you see something you really like, you got to save it because there's no going back. There's no, oh I like that one too back, go back to it, you can't do it. You also have this vignette that you can reposition. So the vignette is part of the image as well. So if you want to focus your vignette on a different part of the image, you can do that. Take the brightness up a little bit on there. Maybe take the uh, vignette a little bit stronger. Go there. Cycle through the textures. And you get some cool effects in there. It's, you know, again, once you get into these special effecty things, it's a little goes a long way like salt, right? A little goes a really long way. And it's super easy to overdo it. Um, I have a friend who, uh, were we nameless, nameless, but he doesn't want to show, so it's okay. <laughs> um, who, I remember when he first got Snapseed, it was like every picture. Oh yeah, dude, that's a Snapseed photo. He go, oh, how can you tell? Really? It's it's really easy to overdo it. So I, I urge restraint. There you go. That's what I'm saying. I urge restraint. Super cool effects, but you can really go over the top. But yeah, in here, just hit that randomize button, that shuffle button to cycle through a bunch of different ones. When you see something you kind of like, you go, okay, well, that's, that's close. Um, not digging the texture, though. Let's find, okay, that's, I like that texture better. It's too strong, so let's take the texture down a little bit. A little bit in there. We don't have too much. Let's get our center point back up. Uh, a little center blur on there that's happening. And maybe take the brightness up a little bit and a little saturation. You go, okay, all right, we're getting there. Now, now I'm digging it. Yeah, it looks like kind of an old school, old worldy, black and whitish, faded color photo. Yeah, you know, anyway, cool stuff. So again, fun, but use with restraint. Now, grainy film, I use this one a lot. So let me, let me just, let me talk a little bit about grain. I have, um, 
I've talked quite a bit about grain. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.